Okay, we're going to put together the cow catcher here. Uh, directions, or you probably have paper directions, but here are the uh, dimensions for this cow catcher. So I'm going to show you how to do this. There's a couple of different ways. I think mine might be a little simpler. The hard part is getting these windows to line up to be so that we can put a sketch on those windows. So we'll give this a try here. So I got a new uh, sketch up here. So I'm going to start this 2D sketch. Doesn't matter where I start. Actually, I think I'm going to start it from the bottom on this one. So as I go to look at the dimensions, it looks like a five-sided figure. You got the back, two sides, and then the two diagonals. So we got a five-sided or a pentagon. Um, so it looks like it's 1.8 across, and then it says it's 0.25 typical for these sides. And then it goes out 0.9 or goes to the middle point nine. So this point goes to the center of this backside. And then that point is point seven. Uh, that's not right is make sure we got this right. Oh, there it is, is one inch from uh, the back of this piece. So I'm going to build the back, the two sides, then the two diagonals, and then I'm going to put in my measurements here. So as I go through to do that, I'm going to, going to just draw a line says that that line is 1.8 and then it says it's going to be 0.25 and I'm just going to draw a diagonal line out here it doesn't really matter go back and hit my line again I'm going to go up 0.25 if I can get that there we go 0.25 and I draw a diagonal line out here. And now I'm just going to dimension that I want this point to be point or to be one inch from the end there. And I want it to be point nine from this side. And I'm going to do the same thing with that. So what I can do at this point is I could just do a coincident constraint and I should be able to put those two together and make sure that that's still at one inch and make sure that that's still at 0.9. It should be without any problem. Just to make sure I've got the 0.9 there, it may give me a, yep, so that's fine. Wanted to ask if I wanted to drive that constraint. We know that we have that correct. All right, so I'm going to finish that sketch. Now, I need to put an offset plane, but it's not giving me an offset plane here. It doesn't let me do that. So to find an offset plane, I need to come over here on the origin, and I need to turn on the plane that that is sitting on. So that's the XZ plane. So I'm going to right-click and, oh, I guess it wants me to cancel first, and now I'm going to right-click and turn on its visibility. Now I'm going to do an offset from that plane. And if I go look at the directions, it says it has an offset here of 0.75. So I'm going to go back and offset that plane. 0.75. I'm going to put a new sketch on that plane. And I know I want to have something that looks like this, but it's not going to be an offset in itself. Some dimensions are going to be the same. So as I go back and look at what the top of this is going to look like, the top is only 1.2 long. It still has the 0.25 typical, just like this one down here did. And it shows that instead of being one inch away like it was over here, this is 0.75. This point is still at the middle at 0.6. So I'm going to go and start to build this, but I need to make sure that my line is in the center. So I'm going to start with, instead, I'm just going to start with a 0.25 line here somewhere. And I know that I want that line to be right on this line and to be 0.3 away because it's 0.6 less. So I'm going to go... And it won't let me dimension that because I don't have it projected. So I'm going to project that line 
and that line and this line for right now. I may need to project the others, but I'm not going to worry about it at this point. But I'm going to dimension this to be 0 0.3. I'm sorry. Yeah, 0.3 is how far away that's supposed to be. And I'm going to coincident this point to this line. And it still made it 0.25. You can see it's the same there. It just moved that line to be there. Now I'm going to draw a line here at the bottom. That's going to be 1.2 away, or 1.2 long. I know I can go up 0.25 here. And now I'm going to go, and I'm going to make sure that this is somewhat centered here. We'll make sure I have that connected there to there. I need to make sure that my dimensions from here, uh, from that point to that point should be exactly 0.6, and it is. I'm fine with that. And I need this dimension to be 0.75 from the side here. All right, so I've got the two parts built. I'm going to finish my sketch. Instead of extruding, we're going to use the loft tool. We're going to loft the bottom. We're going to click, click to add and click there. I want to make sure we're building it so everything is fine there. We're not cutting anything away. I'm going to just click OK. And there is my trapezoid or the front of this cow catcher. I'm going to go ahead and shut off my work planes here. All right, so on the front of this, I want to put a new sketch. It allows me to do that. I'm just going to project the geometry of the whole trapezoid. I'm going to do an offset of it to be 0.1. And then I'm going to finish that sketch, and I'm going to extrude that sketch. And it says to cut it into it, so I'll get all this stuff off of here. So I'm going to use the cut tool and it says to make it 0 0.05. Now there will there is a change order that uh, you will have to follow here in a bit but I'm going to leave that at 0 0.05 because that's the original one. And then I'm going to flip this to the back side, put a new sketch on that side, do the same thing, project geometry if it lets me. It says it's not responding. We'll give it a second here, otherwise I'll hit pause and I'll come back when it pops up here. It doesn't look like it's working, so we're gonna hit pause. For All right, it quit thinking there for me. So once again, we got a new sketch. We're gonna project geometry. We've got it on there, offset. We got point one. finish our sketch. We're going to do a cut extrusion of, and make sure it's a cut extrusion. And we have that piece there. We're going to go to the bottom of this piece. We're going to click on that. We're going to shell that. And if I remember right from our directions, the shell from underneath says it is a 0.1 typical shell. So it's got a 0.1 distance there, the 0 0.05 came from these dimensions right here. So a 0.1 shell from underneath. And I should be able to click the bottom of that and click OK. There's my shell. Hollow from underneath, so got the windows on it. All right, last thing to do is we will put a new sketch on the back. We're going to put the three posts and the chamfer that's on there. So if I'm looking at my dimensions here, it tells me that the top post is 0 0.625 up. It's 0 0.625 over from the left post. Um, tells us that the left post and all the posts have a diameter of 0 0.125. 
um, and it says they extrude out 0.125. Where are, oh, and here is where the left and right posts are, 0.275 over from the corner and 0.125 up. So going back to my piece here, I'm just going to put uh, point tools starting off just because I want them to be measured correctly, and then I can just use my circle tool to make sure that I've got this. Now you see all these hidden lines popping up. I'm gonna try and not hit one of those hidden lines because if I do that, it makes it difficult to measure stuff. So to dimension, it says that this the center of this circle is gonna be 0.275 from the side and 0.125 from the bottom. And I can do that from this one also. I got the 0.125 there. And still dimensioning from that point over 0.275. And it said that this one, just to double check my numbers, is 0.625 up from the bottom and 0.625 uh, from the edge. So let's, or from that other circle. So we've got two dimensions to get there done first. So we're gonna dimension this one to be from here to here, should be 0.625. And then from the center of this to the center of this one should also be 0.625. Now, if I double check this, I should be able to get a driven dimension from here to here. It is also 0.625. It tells me, do I want to drive it? I'm just going to cancel that to make sure it's right. All right, so I'm just going to take my circle tool, put it on each of these points, make it 0 0.125, 0.125. Point one two five. Finish my sketch. Uh, I can extrude each of those. And the extrusion was also point zero or point one two five. I have those, and the last thing it says is it wants a forty five degree chamfer at Sure, I got that. Uh, chamfer at 0 0.01 at 45 degrees. So I'm going to put in 0 0.01 and I'm going to click the ends of each of those pieces and click OK. And I now have built the cow catcher. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.